Hello and welcome to another episode of Geared Toward Gear. My name is Sean and I am so glad you're here. I'm so glad that I'm here because I have not filmed a video in at least three weeks. This is the first time I've sat down to film in quite a while and, and I'm, I'm glad. Things have been crazy. My wife is super pregnant. Work is crazy busy. My son is getting older and busier so life happens so to speak. And uh, it is what it is, but we are back, we are not going anywhere, and there will be plenty more content to come, including a pretty epic giveaway once we hit 4,000 subs, which should be sometime in the future, uh, but we're, I think, relatively close. So today we are here to talk about a brand in particular of leather goods that I came to learn about pretty recently, and I bought a whole bunch of stuff from them. And it is fantastic and I wanted to share it with you. So what we're looking at here is a whole bunch of stuff from Night Heron Leather. And Night Heron Leather, I learned about on Instagram. I'm not sure how I found them specifically, but I went to their website and saw just a bunch of cool stuff that I was interested in. So I sent a message on Instagram to Jason, who is the proprietor and maker and mastermind behind Night Hair and Leather and said, hey, I really like, uh, it was actually this, this uh, Field Notes notebook cover. I really liked this and this wallet and I saw the pen sleeves and we got to talking and the next thing I knew, I had essentially built like this six piece EDC set and uh, I paid him for it. He made it, uh, actually he made it, then I paid him for it and he sent it to me and it's all fantastic. And the really cool thing is that Jason is basically my neighbor. Uh, he lives about 20 minutes from me, which I didn't realize at the time, but I thought that was pretty pretty darn cool. Um, so I live in Fort Worth, Texas. Night Hair and Leather is based in Bedford, which is what we call the mid cities, kind of between Dallas and Fort Worth. And so yeah, kind of a cool little bonus. So what do we have here? We've got a number of things. And the cool thing also is that all of these can be purchased individually, or he is now offering some sets like what you see here, some EDC sets. Some of them are like a two piece, maybe a three piece, a four piece. I kind of went all in and got six different items. So what did I get? Uh, here we've got a keychain, and this one's really, really well done. It's not, you know, the type that would go uh, around your belt and snap, it's just a, a split ring and like an HK style clip with uh, this gorgeous leather, which I'll talk about here in a moment. So that is the keychain that I got. Um, then here we have a coin purse and it's about, uh, what is the, I wanna say it's three inches roughly. Yeah, roughly three inches by three inches. And I've actually been using this to hold a challenge coin, which is this armor of God coin that I have. And so obviously you could use this to put whatever type of gear you want in there or use it as intended as a kind of spare change coin type purse. So I thought that was pretty cool. Get a closer look at that, at the stitching and at the leather, which we will again talk about the leather here in a moment. Uh, this is pretty awesome. This is a Field Notes notebook cover. And this is the item that first kind of drew me to Night Heron Leather. And I love his maker's mark. It's absolutely fantastic. And a heron or a night heron, it's a type of bird that's what it looks like, obviously. I imagine you could probably put two and two together. Uh, and I learned through some research, because I'm a total dork. You guys probably know this about me. And when I saw the name Night Heron, I just, I wanted to learn more about them. So they are indigenous to the, to the US, to North America. They live in kind of the, the marshlands and they have nocturnal uh, feeding habits. And so hence the name Night Heron. And I think it's a pretty darn cool name. For, for a company. So Night Hair and Leather. This is a Field Notes uh, cover and it will actually hold two notebooks, which is fantastic. Uh, here we have a Nomad notebook and then here is a Moleskin. This is what they call the Cashier's Journal, I believe, which is the same size as a Nomad. It is also the same size as Field Notes or a Field Book. So any of these kind of standard size uh, notebooks will fit in here and you can fit two. Which is, which is pretty awesome. And I just love this thing, just love it. I've used it quite a bit. Um, I've sat on it a bit as well, and so it's, it's worn in a little bit. 
you know, the edges have, have kind of curled in just a touch. But what I actually have been using in this, and I put these in here to illustrate that you can carry two different uh, notebooks if you want to, but that's actually not what I use in here. And actually I am in the middle of testing a bunch of different notebooks. So there's gonna be a video coming in the future where I compare and contrast a whole bunch of different types of notebooks. So that's another bit of content to look forward to. But I've been carrying this, which is the Rhodia Unlimited. This is my favorite brand of paper. It's just really high quality paper. And this is about twice as thick as Field Notes. So I just carry one of these. So I will slide that in there. It fits on one side, just like such. And that's all she wrote. Just a great, a great size, perfect fit for this particular notebook cover. And that leaves the other side open if you want to put cash, receipts, credit cards, whatever. So totally loving that. That thing is totally killer. Love the notebook cover, the coin purse. Uh, this is the wallet, and this is one of his minimalist wallets. I'm gonna take the card out. Um, and this thing is just fantastic. This has two contrasting colors, as you can see. This brown color that you see throughout uh, these items is called tobacco. And then of course, black here in the middle. And it's got just kind of a slip pocket on both sides. I keep some cash on one side and my debit card that I use daily on the other side. And one thing that's really smart about the design on this wallet, and I'll put my card back in here for a second, is that the geometry I can appreciate. And I've mentioned this once before in a leather uh, pocket slip related video, the geometry of any type of leather product, especially a wallet is important. And I like that it's cut at an angle like this because it makes it super easy to just slide it up with your thumb. I'm trying to cover my credit card number. Um, so I really like that. Same thing for this side, it gives you a little bit of a, a tab, right? To kind of get a hold of your cash. And then in the center, I've got like six cards and the whole package is still crazy thin. It's totally, totally usable as like a front pocket wallet, back pocket, EDC bag, wherever you wanna carry your wallet. So I chose the tobacco brown with a black uh, inner leather and black stitching. And that's the theme throughout is tobacco and black stitching. And this leather in particular is, is kind of a special type of leather. It's called Pueblo leather. And uh, one kind of I guess well-known distributor of this type of leather in the US is Rocky Mountain Leather Supply. And it's just a fantastic leather. It's just got so much character. This is a knife slip that I had him make to fit an open L. And he did have, I think, a knife slip of some sort available on his website. But when I reached out to him, I, I asked Jason if he would make one specifically to fit an open L number eight because I had just done some custom work on a couple of open L's and wanted a slip for it. And so I gave him the dimensions and he was more than willing to take that kind of custom order and, and make this. So there's his maker's mark there. And this holds an open L number eight just perfectly. This is one that I did recently, turned it into a drop point blade shape and kind of antiqued the collar lock, uh, torched and oiled and and did up the handle there, uh, but it just fits so beautifully. And you can see kind of how this leather wears in, where I've kind of sat on this, that leather has kind of smoothed out a bit. It's not quite as sort of matte finished as the rest of it. Uh, same thing you can kind of see on the wallet where the cash imprint is. So it wears, it wears super well. And then up here we have a pen sleeve. Same thing, you'll see a little bit more glossy on the top from where it's kind of been sat on. And I love how that's wearing in again, black stitching. And you just kind of give it a pinch and it, it opens up and you can just kind of pinch to push your pen out. And of course, depending on what size pen, you know, you can, um, you may not have to, to do that, but in here I have a Pilot Metropolitan, just a, a budget fountain pen that I like quite a bit. And it fits in here just beautifully. So that's it, that's my six piece EDC set from Night Hair and Leather right here in the great state of Texas. And Jason is just a super awesome dude. Like I can't stress that enough. Um, he does have a YouTube channel and I will link that below. He's got a few videos where he explains uh, a few of the items. He has a website, which is where you'd go if you wanted to buy something. 
and also an Instagram page, which is excellent. So I'll link all of that below. If you see anything you like, you can go check him out. But in watching his YouTube videos and chatting with him through Instagram, which we've done quite a bit, I actually just tonight asked him to make me another one of these wallets in a slightly different configuration. But he's one of those guys that just, you can tell from talking to him that he is just a good-hearted, kind, generous, good human being. Like, that's that's the best way I can put it. Um, so Jason is just fantastic. What he produces is fantastic. He hand cuts and hand stitches and hand finishes everything. So it's all really just excellent quality, excellent craftsmanship. His designs I really like and appreciate. And they're functional, they're beautiful. And I just love good quality leather. And this Pueblo leather from Rocky Mountain Leather Supply is just gorgeous. And it comes in so many different colors, it would blow your mind. Go check out his Instagram page and just look at some of the stuff that he has on his page. It'll blow your mind, like blues and, and greens and purples and some of the contrasting colors he does with reds and blues and different stitching. It is unbelievable the, the color combinations you can use with this Pueblo leather. It's as if every color that's available either contrasts or complements with, with every other color. It, it's just incredible. And so I, I kind of went a little more classic with just kind of the brown and black theme. And my next one's gonna be black and gray, but in the future I can definitely see myself adding something with a little bit of color. So this is it. This is my uh, my six piece set from Night Hair and Leather. And the prices on these things are gonna vary. So I don't wanna necessarily quote any prices because I frankly don't remember. I wanna say this wallet's around $40, $45, somewhere in there. Notebook cover, probably about the same. When you bundle these in the kits that he offers, they're a little bit cheaper. And there may be a discount code uh, coming from Jason. And if that does happen, I will put that in the uh, description of this video. So check the description. If you see a discount code, then, then definitely use that. Uh, if you don't, then <laughs> don't worry about it. But uh, if there is one, I'll, I'll be sure to add it there. So I just wanted to share this stuff because I found it. I thought it was awesome. I reached out to him. I bought it, I paid for it, right? This isn't, you guys know at this point, I don't do sponsored, paid endorsement type stuff. Occasionally I'll get something for free and I'll make that very clear and then I'll give it away. Uh, but in this case, it's simply products that I purchased, that I've been using, that I really enjoy and thought you might as well. And I can, I can say with confidence that if you're dealing with Night Hair and Leather and with Jason, uh, you can deal in confidence because he's just a good guy and he's putting out some, some great stuff. So that is it, Night Hair and Leather. Check the links in the description for all the uh, YouTube, Instagram, and his website. If you have any questions, feel free to put those down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Again, I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but there is a lot of stuff coming up. We've got a notebook showdown. We've got kind of another maker highlight video with Rogan USA products that I've been buying the crap out of lately. Got some new knives um, that I'll be reviewing. I've got some new pens that I'll be reviewing as well. We'll be doing an epic giveaway here before too long. In addition, there's this new project that I'm working on called the EDC Collective. I do have an Instagram page set up for that, which I'll link down below as well. I'm working on that with three friends of mine. JD from Shadowborn Hanks, my buddy Mark, who goes by Mark's Gear on Instagram, and Zach from Zach Stuff. Oh, I also got a new EDC bag recently, and it's this one, and it's made by a company called Nutsack. So that's fun to say. Uh, so this is my new Nutsack. So well, I guess, <coughs> excuse me, I've also been a little sick, which is why I haven't been making videos as much. And when I start laughing, I start coughing. But that was my, my nut sack. I just wanted to, to quickly show that to you guys. So that's it. Sorry for the long-winded uh, video. Again, after not having filmed for a few weeks, it's good, good to be back. So thank you all again. I always appreciate the support. Stay tuned for plenty more content, giveaways, and fun announcements. 
uh, regarding the EDC Collective. Have a great week. Thanks so much, and I'll talk to you soon.